welcome back my little freshman. Today I'm gonna um, calculate a nice complex number for you. So the number is 1 plus cosine of phi minus i sine of phi. And because that's too easy, we'll just put it in the denumerator. So what's that? It's just 1 over cosine of phi plus 1 minus i sine of phi. And if we don't want to change this number, we'll just multiply it with 1. But how can we write 1? We'll just write it as a denumerator over the same denominator. So let's write 1 plus cosine of phi plus i sine of phi over 1 plus cosine of phi plus i sine of phi. And now, if you pay close attention, this is just a times a and minus b times b. Um, third binomial formula, so the middle part, this times that and this times that cancels out nicely. Then we get um, denominator stays the same. And the denumerator is these two boys squared, so 1 plus cosine of phi squared minus um, i squared times sine squared of phi. And now what's i squared? i squared is just minus 1, so this becomes plus 1 here. And now let's have a look at this denumerator. Can we simplify this a bit? You might remember the trigonometric Pythagoras. This is 1 equals cosine squared of phi plus sine squared of phi. So let's rewrite this. Sine squared is nothing but 1 minus cosine squared and this is the same thing that we got down here. So that's nothing but um, 1 plus cosine of phi plus i sine of phi over 1 plus cosine of phi squared um, plus 1 minus cosine of phi squared. And now let's have a look at this boy with the uh, first binomial formula this time. So this is just um, 1 squared plus 2 times cosine of phi plus cosine squared of phi. And now cosine squared and minus cosine squared cancels out and it's just 1 plus 1 plus 2 cosine of phi. So let's put this up here. Um, we get 1 plus cosine phi um, plus i sine phi over 2 plus 2 cosine phi. And now if we take the, this sum apart, we'll just write this boy over that and then this one over that. And we see that this is the exact same expression. So this will just become one half. So we get one half plus i times sine of phi over two plus two cosine of phi. And now let's have a look at this. How can we simplify that? Um, there is another neat little formula. So cosine squared of phi is nothing but um, 1 plus cosine of 2 phi over 2. So if we multiply this expression by 2 and substitute phi with um, phi over 2, we would get, or maybe let's use another variable so this is not confusing. 
just 2 times cosine of um, t over 2 equals um, 1 plus cosine of t and this is nothing um, but that multiplied with 2 so, oh sorry, got the square here so we can plug this in here and now the sine um, we know that sine of yeah, let's, let me have a little quick look at my notes here okay um, sine of x times cosine of y equals sine of x minus y um, plus sine of x plus y and if we put in x uh, equals y we'll just get sine of x times cosine of x equals sine of x minus x is sine of zero and that's zero and this is just sine of 2x now we do the same trick with the substitution here by the way I've forgotten over 2 there's a 2 here and a 2 here so this if we plug in phi it's just 2 sine of phi over 2 times cosine of phi over 2 equaling sine of phi and what a surprise that's the same sine of phi we got there in the denumerator so let's plug all this nice information in here um, our equation is one half plus i sine of phi over 2 times 1 plus cosine phi and now um, we'll use 1 plus cosine phi is 2 times cosine squared of phi over 2 so this is 2 times cosine squared of phi over 2 and sine of phi is nothing but 2 times sine of phi over 2 times cosine of phi over 2 so 2 times sine of phi over 2 times cosine phi over 2 and now this cancels out and cosine of phi over 2 cancels out with one of those cosines of phi over 2 and that is one half plus i times sine over cosine is tangent so uh, tangent of phi over 2 over 2 that's the solution thanks for watching